Hello everyone. President Cyril Ramaphosa acted unlawfully when he asked Parliament to reconsider the list of names submitted to him for appointment to the SABC board. This was the legal opinion of Parliament's legal advisor, Andy Ligegiana, who assessed the letter which Ramaphosa wrote to National Assembly Speaker Mr. Vyoma Pesangagula on March 9. Andy listed the letter by President is not only unprecedented but it's grossly unlawful. The letter of a 9 March has got no basis in law. Andy Le was telling the Parliament's Portfolio Committee on Communications and Digital Technologies. In December, the President was given a list of people to be appointed to the SAPC board as the law requires. There was a great agency in Ramaphosa signing off on the board appointments because the public broadcaster has been without a board for five months. This means crucial decisions on the functioning of the SAPC cannot be taken. On Thursday, the Portfolio Committee had feedback on the legal opinion sought on Ramaphosa's referral of the matter back to the committee. And Lekekiana said that according to the legal opinion gathered, Ramaphosa had no basis for referring the recommended names back to the parliament. The law states that Ramaphosa be given a list of 12 names he must appoint to the board. There was also a reserve pool of candidates that could be considered should one of the recommended people be unavailable to take up their position on the board. Ramaphosa raised concerns about the unavailability of one of the recommended candidates, Professor Franz Kruger. But even with Kruger's withdrawal, the president had a chance of reserve pool names, which were ranked and which he could pick from to replace Kruger. Kekiana said that the president has no legal basis for prescribing how the National Assembly should conduct its business. The constitution is evident in the separation of powers. You cannot have a situation where parliament is answerable to the president. He said Ramaphosa could approach the courts if he felt like parliament's list was unlawful. He said the president is constitutionally bound to appoint as per the resolution of the National Assembly. If the president has, for whatever reason, felt that what parliament directs to him to do is unlawful, the president has one option. He has to approach a competent court. The president has no power beyond the powers conferred to him by law. The president must tell parliament where he is taking this power to tell parliament how to conduct its businesses. After the legal opinion presented by the legal advisor, most committee members from across party lines demanded that the committee write to Ramaphosa. The committee wanted him to appoint the SAPC board immediately. What's the take on this one, people? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.